Surprise, no. <laughs> Surprise me not. Surprise me not. My heart That's can't fine. take it. I can't take the surprise. Oh. My doctor says I can have one mild surprise per month, and I've already oh, had one no. this month. When I looked in the mirror. Was it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that was seven years bad luck as well afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Quickly type down all my TVs of this year so that I can store them away. Oh, yeah. And not worry about it. <laughs> I did all mine up to 2021. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm all, I'm all caught up until December, 31st of December this year. Yeah. I tend to do mine one at a time, but we do this so irregularly, it doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah. True that. Well, speaking of TV then. TV, I guess are we, we should... going into the big we, TV? We should probably talk about Doctor Who, shouldn't we? Who? <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> uh, that, oh, never mind, whatever. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's there is what normally comes. That's what normally comes after it, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 my brain went off into that tangent of trying to remember how to say, like, Doctor Who, but in Japanese. Ah, uh, well, so, should we ch knock, knock. Be like, Hakase wa dare desu ka is what I believe it would be. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Doctor Who. A casual dark I was getting my shit joke out of the way if it killed me. Oh, no. Whatever. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Uh, right. We so have as, had as Doctor we... Who. Not a very eventful episode. Nothing happened. No. 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 As we record no. this, it's the it's the eleventh of uh, novelty, twenty twenty two. I hope you're wearing your yeah. big poppies. For paying your oh, hashtag is, respect. Is, is that today, is it? <laughs> I don't think I've seen anybody mention it this year, to be fair. No, no. I like well, follow. Every year it's normally even mentioned a bit, especially because I work in schools, I tend to see the poppies oh, flying yeah. around. Oh. But for whatever reason... They're evolving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I haven't. I like to follow the uh, various accounts on Twitter that post examples of people being really silly with it that's how i i knew it was uh, coming back around otherwise it no, really no, 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 no. wouldn't wouldn't, ha wouldn't be noticeable at all yeah no i don't know what's kind of overshadowed it this year world cup but, maybe <laughs> world cup the fact that britain's just kind of in downfall in general so we haven't yeah. really had well, chance we're... to remember the good old days yeah that's true we're too concerned with these this new plague of flying poppies that is uh Hounding, hounding the schools. Hounding everyone, yeah. Bloodsuckers, oh. that's why they're red. Oh. Um, yeah, the blood gives them the colour. So is it's like a butterfly, but deadly. The little black bit in the middle is the actual bug itself. Yeah. And the red bits are the wings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, wings okay. stroke blood sacks. I mean, give it a couple of years, it'll be a Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a great Pokemon. <laughs> Imagine the outcry. <laughs> <laughs> for sword and shield especially yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. so yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to my, one of my favorite twitter accounts mascot mascots minute silence updating tomorrow after all the football oh, okay. matches because okay. there'll be minute silences and so on oh so looking forward to that next podcast i guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> you tend to share that each year don't you yeah it's like and you my, share a bit like Christ my christmas yeah <laughs> I mean, we have got the Pokemon games out next week. We have got Literally the Pokemon games out next week. week of, to, of to die. Oh, there's so much going on. I UK, mean... UK Snooker Championship starts this weekend. Oh. Pokemon's <laughs> Pondrous and Pilots out next Friday. Pondrous then the World Pilots Cup starts out. on yeah. Sunday. Oh, bloody. <laughs> yeah. It's no, a good, um, good time to be a I, sports fan. I know I said that... I've not given a shit about Pokemon, but up until like the past week or so, I've suddenly gotten a little bit excited for it. Oh, I don't, not to the point of like, oh my god, Pokemon, because I think there, there's actually been leaks of the entire game online already, apparently. Oh wow! From what I don't, I've I've seen it in like um thumbnails and stuff like yeah leaked blah 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 blah, oh. but. Yeah, I, I haven't really been excited up until now, but maybe the fact that the game's almost out and we're near yeah. the point that we can play it, it's like, oh, okay. 
wouldn't mind a bit of Pokemon now that it's <laughs> getting near. I'll forget about it a month after I finish the game. But <laughs> yeah. in the meantime, I wouldn't mind a little bit more Pokemon. Nice. I've yeah. been. I've. I've just got through finished editing my all my uh, sword videos that I, I played I've a few months ago. Them pop up. Yeah, so like yeah. I've, I'm in a bit of a Pokemon groove as well. So yeah. Looking okay. Forward to it. Cool. Yeah, I might. Try, the day it's out, I might try and stream something small to get me to the point where well, like. Yeah. I don't know where we need to get TV. to. I, yeah, I, I, I'm in, I'm intending to play through it all myself anyway. If I'm honest, um, are you are you just so, gonna play it naturally and then yeah, yeah. join me from that's I've, fine. Uh, yeah, I have that's got. Cool. You I, might I, get I, you I, might get through it further quicker honest, than I, I do. Then I, I did. On... I my plan was I got I got two games, so I thought if you did want to do a full co op thing, I could have a spare game to do that. But if not, I'd just drop him whenever. Don't really know. Um, I, that might be a conversation I, for another time. Well, I don't. I wouldn't mind you playing it on your because then I can just get on with. I want it to try and stream it as I play it. Yeah. So. so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, nice. And then we can cross cross the streams. Oh yeah! Holy shit! Just like uh, the man in the, the man. jumpsuit, you know, in the ju- with the with the with the gun. That's the one. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> you seen Ghostbusters? I have, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I wondered for a moment then. <laughs> we can I never the know, because... You know, like, like an alien, when Ripley's there in yeah, a nighty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Ghostbusters, wasn't I it? I mean, yeah, I don't know with you, though, because, like, some of the classic, A lot of the classics you have seen, but yeah. then I'll randomly yeah. mention something and you go, oh, no, I haven't seen that, and it's like, yeah. what? <laughs> 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 I haven't seen that one either. No, no. I oh. I need to see that one to be fair. But... That was the Taz the Taz film, wasn't it? The live the action Taz one they film. did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was live I... action in nineteen ninety nine, from... so it was just a man in a suit. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. I was gonna say from what I hear they butchered the CGI and made him look too human, so everyone got up in riots. <laughs> they had to remake it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good, good reference. We, we, we both had <laughs> jokes that were topical for different eras. <laughs> oh, man. Um, uh, well, enough, that enough. was a strange Doctor Who chat, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so what else is happening? Uh, that's Doctor oh, Who dealt with. Doctor Who dealt with. Um, huh. Sh- should we actually talk about Doctor Who? I don't, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who. Hey. Now I know you. I, I know you've got a scroll somewhere. So, um, should we mention? My, yeah, we we watched it uh, live on Ozzy's channel. TS. We Reactions. watched it live on TS Reactions. The full version. You'll bring your own co- copy along and watch alongside a really bad quality video. But if you want a better quality video edited down with the visuals, that will be out in the next day or two. Nice. I've got the last twenty minutes of the episode to edit, basically. And cool. then the 15 minutes of us bollocking on at the end and answering all the comments. <laughs> I'll try and maybe I try and put in the comments yeah, yeah. visually and stuff as that. So within if I if I crack on tonight and tomorrow or at night or whatever, I should get it out by Sunday. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I've got I've got my scroll. I've tried to organize it as best I can. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I guess you can. Well, whilst being attacked by that wild boar, I heard. The wild boar, yeah. yeah. So, would you like me to go through um, my scroll, or have you got well, anything in particular you want to, or would you well, jump in as I've, I. I've tried hmm. to organise my scroll in a way that it's got like different points and we go through the episode a little bit. I've got so many things on my list of things to mention in the podcast. I just need to scroll through it to figure out what's Doctor Who related. Do you mind if I go first? Because I've got a f- okay. only, only a couple of things. Okay. Or a few okay. things, rather. Um, so. Um, n- <laughs> uh, needle pulling sun. 
as they say, uh, jam, uh, tea with cake and bread. So, uh, Wait, we've been very critical more. of Chibnall's writing in the past. Um, yes. As, yeah, as I'm sure well, anyone who listens to this will know. There has been a lot to be critical about in the yeah. past. <laughs> but watching various reactions and such, something occurred to me, and I, I kind of noticed it at the time, but, you know, when you're busy chatting, you don't really dwell on the thought very much. Um, the way the uh, the Doctor was written talking to Yaz at the end, like, just quite not being able to say what she actually wants to say, I thought was done really, really well. Because they've done... Okay. They've done the whole, oh, I'm socially awkward thing in the past, and it's been like a sort of caricature of it, and it's not been very good. Where is that, actually? And okay. I, yeah, yeah. Like, I, w- I would say, honestly, I kind of related to it, because I've been in those sorts of conversations before where you can just say everything except what you want to say. <laughs> so I thought that was really good. Oh, so credit yeah, where it's due. Um, the museum. The museum that Ace was in at the beginning. Okay. That was Bristol just- Museum. Oh yeah. Oh shame. Oh yeah. fuck. We missed out to uh, an opportunity to go to Bristol Museum while Sophie Eldred was there. I know, rubbish. This this is the she problem been... with not looking up spoilers and finding <laughs> yeah. out like filming dates and shit. They'd never is never the... find it out anyway. Like when Hugh yeah. Grant was up at Blaze Castle, I never saw him. <laughs> <laughs> um despite walking up there from a lunchtime walk every day. Um, yeah, she would have been like shepherded out, shepherded out of the back door with a cloth over her head, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's um, she have a big bodyguard, like the scene with um, it's, it's not Luke. Luke Ham- it's not. It's not Luke Hamill. It's Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill it's close. in the Simpsons. In the Simpsons, I can't remember when, that episode very well. Like, didn't he have a fork or something? And Homer was like carrying him in his arms as like a bodyguard through like a crowd at the end yeah that's right he was his bo- yeah. yeah he was his bodyguard yeah 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 uh, yeah i just I got that visual i can't remember that one very- all i remember is of the classic okay. use the forks yeah. use the forks yeah yeah ah, okay um yeah. so then the final thing then was just a, a actually no i'll save that tip bit for when it's Ooh. relevant oh, okay okay so right. my scroll We'll go, we'll go through the plot first. Oh, plot sorry. Related. I've just thought oh. of something else. No, nice. Go for it. Actually, no, I haven't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Carry on. Go sorry. We'll go with the plot stuff first, yeah. then. Um, I love a nice space train, but the whole scene did feel like an excuse just to bring the suits back. Yeah. Gang, yeah, gang yeah. could have had a near-death experience in any situation, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, as usual, Jody just so happens to be looking for the exact same thing the baddies are at the exact same time they are. <laughs> yeah. <Own us. laughs> yeah. We do have a nice bait sure, and switch, though. I I'm sure there was, the... a, there, were, there was a lot of research off screen that we didn't yeah. see, given the benefit yeah. of the doubt. <laughs> yeah. I did like the bait and switch where we thought it was going to be the master in the cargo. Yeah. But it turned out it wasn't because that was like, they were feeding off our expectations of, oh, it's Chib, no, he's got, got Cybermen, it's obviously going to be the master. Yeah. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. It was I actually Matt that. Smith in the Pandorica. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it was Amy. <laughs> well, it well, 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 depends. Um, but why did the space train have the cargo box girl to begin with? Did they just find a box and decide to transport it? Well, yeah, it's for, for, the same, the in there? <laughs> for the same reason that that random Dalek <laughs> decided to betray the Daleks. Oh, I was going to get to I, that. I, yeah. No reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was gonna, yeah, I'll get to that. But yeah, uh, carrying on. Big text boxes! Chibnall likes his big yeah. text boxes, doesn't he? I've to noticed be honest, that. I quite like that as well. I, I th- he goes a bit too big at times out there. I think it's like his text box fills the whole fucking screen. <laughs> it hits you on the forehead. <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, next point. Dan's house is still tiny from the first episode. We missed out. We missed that for whatever reason. So Carvinista yeah. had his house shrink down and then they land and then there's just a big gap between two two attached houses sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. That was quite quite a nice little callback. <coughs> yes. Chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> um, today, Yaz is a police officer again. Congratulations. <laughs> you remembered that bit. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> or is she a TARDIS pilot, thanks to the power of post-it notes? She's whatever the yeah. plot of the episode needs her to yeah. be, regardless of that, whether it suits her character yeah. or not. <laughs> the, the post-it note thing, I can, oh, I'm can. i a bit torn on it. I find it a bit silly, but I wouldn't if we'd have seen it developed a bit more over time. Yeah, it's kind of it, it, it can fall on just the right side of silly, can't it? But it yeah, well, it just it, came out of nowhere. Suddenly, yeah. Yaz has started. She knows how to fly. That if, like, since the start of Flux, we've had moments of the Doctor showing Yaz what to do and teaching her, and say, "Oh yeah. no, no, that one," I'd believe it. But the fact yeah. that it comes out yeah, of yeah. nowhere, and if we'd have also had that, it would have also made Dan's leaving not seem as out of nowhere as well. Oh yeah, because he'd be like, oh, the... well, no, it, well, no, it does make if we have apparently had a long time in between episodes where Yaz has been learning how to fly the oh, TARDIS, and yeah. Dan's been with them longer than we've seen, so it makes him leaving even more out of nowhere because mm. it's like, oh, you've been traveling with us for like months now, and you're only just starting to worry about getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. I think I said, I said at, at the time, it was kind of like, it came out of nowhere, Dan leaving, and you wonder whether that would have developed over a series if they had one. Yeah, I, I I've got, yeah, I've got was... a few notes about that a bit later on. I think that was in the companion section, maybe. But yeah. <laughs> um, on to the Dalek. It apparently turned traitor because it felt the rest of its race weren't focused on the survival of the Khaleds over conquest of the universe. Uh, yeah. But what suddenly made this one Dalek feel like that? What have the Daleks done any differently? Yeah. Since that, that made it change its mind? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really like that reasoning no. at all because it's like that they're specifically conditioned to not question things. If it had been yeah. like I thought, maybe it was um, Dalek uh, Khan on his way back if through they, a te- through the temporal shift. If before, they'd have pulled it off like yeah. that, I'd have probably believed it a bit more. <laughs> Like, you know, he's given a reason. Yeah, before he shows up on the Crucible sort of thing. This is on his way. He tries to destroy them on the way sort of thing. That would, yeah, I would have liked oh, that. Oh, shit. And you could have had these Daleks destroy Khan as they did with this Dalek, but it leaves it in that sort of, like, yeah. destroyed, tangled mess that we saw it as when it gets to the Crucible and it's missing its top half and shit. Yeah. Ah. Oh. See, Chib, you missed out. <laughs> missed out. Did did a lot right in this episode, but you can never get it perfect, can you? That's the pr- that was I, that was I, his problem. He could do a lot of good things, but he never quite got there. A bit like the Doctor. A bit like. <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to when Russell the Davis takes over again, and we have to desperately find things to criticise so that we, we're fair. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we can't. We got to try. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll put our hands in now and say we'll try our best not to be biased. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, the Daleks in this episode, though, they should have probably made like the surviving, any kind of like surviving Daleks with regeneration energy from the Witch's Familiar. Remember oh, yeah. when Davros stole a bunch of the Doctor's regeneration energy and gave it to Daleks? Yeah. It would have kind of felt the theme of. The Daleks and the Cybermen both having regeneration energy sort of thing. Yeah. Um, oh, lost my place. Ah, d- uh, there we go. Oh, but they do have these new prison case modes out of nowhere. That would have been <laughs> useful in the past to plop the Doctor into it and carry her away. Yeah, they've had a firmware upgrade. It was something. Yeah. That, it was something the, the designers put in, but they haven't really. They haven't had the software yet. Yeah, I mean, I just find it stupid that the Daleks were working with the Cybermen to begin with, and the reason was over a shared hatred of the Doctor. Surely the Daleks would just kill everyone there and do things their way? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, but was it the Cyberman's ability to regenerate that possibly made a factor in them thinking twice? Possibly. Like, they... oh, we can't kill these Cybermen, they just keep coming back. If it works like Time Lord, you can just kill them and then kill right. them again before they stop killing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm trying to find <laughs> what little I can in these plot holes. These, a lot, all, I will say, all of these are my nitpicks and yeah. just things I've noticed from watching other reactions and editing my own copy. 
Yeah. Um, we did miss that they, or I don't know if we missed it, but we didn't mention it in the reaction that the Daleks and the Cybermen <laughs> shared like a fun little look at each other oh, when yeah. the Master was dancing. I did miss that, but that, I've seen it in reactions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that 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 gave me a good couple of chuckles when I was watching them back. Um, I really enjoyed the the Master trying to be the Doctor plot. That's kind of been the Master's thing since the classics. Mm, yeah. I want your lives, I want your body, I want your regenerations, blah, blah, blah. You will give your power to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole Dalek and Cyberman shit didn't need to be there. I wish they'd have just focused on the master plot. Yeah, yeah, but, agreed. Hey-ho, <laughs> Jimmy Sally. I, th I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing when we were, we were talking to a, a friend of the podcast, Riley, um, and uh, and she was saying that the master was way too over the top in this episode. Like he's he's oh. he stepped it up a notch. I was like, no, the opposite I've, has happened. The opposite has happened. I, no, yeah, I will I will get to this again when we hit my master section of the scroll. But ah. yeah, no, agreed, agreed. Um, I think is it just me or is the master's mishmash costume of all the past doctors better than Jodie's normal costume? <laughs> I would and say I would have rather had that in the. It, we would have yeah. probably, if we'd have had that at the beginning, I could have seen us going, oh, Chibnall's trying too hard to call back to the classics and all blah, yeah. blah, blah. But having had Jodie's, I'd have rather have had that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I could say, I like, the, I like the. I think it'd be cool to bring back like one thing possibly or for, an the, element. for the outfit. Yeah. yeah, like the question mark jumper or something. Or even just re the return of the question marks on the lapel. Yeah. On the on the collar, sorry. Yeah. Not the lapel, the collar, because I think four, five, and four, five, six, and seven. No, seven got rid of them on the collar because he had the jumper. But four, mm. five, and six. Or even just the return of the question mark motif in some way. I guess Not they feel it's too cheesy, perhaps. Che Sometimes I don't know. Yeah, sometimes I like to be, but whatever, whatever. Um, maybe maybe yeah. Tutor Gatwell will have have a big question mark on his chest or something. You know, <laughs> to wear a T-shirt with a question mark on it. A tattoo of a question mark on his upper <laughs> arm or something. Yeah. But yeah, like when they, the sailors should... get an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they should have just put more focus into besmirching the Doctor's name over the big planet bomb thing. Whatever. Yeah, that, that would was. have been a more interesting story, definitely. Yeah. Because I can't um, remember anything about the planet bomb thing. No. I can, but just because I've taken these couple of notes and from doing the editing and the re blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it's lucky the Master's empty body didn't start to decompose in whatever time he was out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time Lord bodies, I guess, just decompose slower or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, res resistant to Earth bacteria, microbes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did like, however, the idea that the Cybermen were taking over unit to get to the Doctor. It does feel very logical for the Cybermen. Yeah, that's we true. We want to get to the Doctor. How do we take over? How do we get there? Through unit. However, the Genesis Arc Cyberman was stupid. Yes. And I think the point of it was that the Arc itself was bigger and the Cybermen coming out were normal sized, but the effect just made it look like a normal sized Cybermen with little itty bitty teenager Cybermen <laughs> yeah. coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, do, I really hope that we don't see the Cybermen for a while now. <laughs> We've that had so me. many Cybermen recently. Yeah. That does lead me to my next point of the fact that Yaz used the Cybermen's regeneration energy to reverse the Doctor's regeneration. To so reverse the polarity of the regeneration. Yeah, so hopefully that means no more Cybermaster bollocks yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just no more Cybermen in general, but yeah. Um, <laughs> did the Master have to be the cause of the Doctor's regeneration at the end? That just felt tacked on. So basically... Yeah. Yeah. She's returned to normal, she's left the place, and then the master appears and says, If you can't be the doc if I can't be the doctor, you can and then he shoots his big planet bomb thing at her. Yeah. It's all like, why couldn't it have just been part of the whole back and forth forced regeneration yeah. that Time Lords shouldn't be fucking doing? <laughs> I'll be honest, until you said that, I'd forgotten the second the yeah, the, the put what actually happened. I just assumed it was because she'd been regenerated. <laughs> I had until yeah. making these notes, yeah. 
I think that's a good uh, test, isn't it? Maybe you should they should they should do like test audience. Oh no, they could never do test audiences because everything would just get leaked, wouldn't it? Yeah. You'd have to sign a contract to say you will be prosecuted if you leak this sort of thing. Or like you'd have to or it would be like you have to have a set amount of fan volunteers who watch it, give the feedback, but then for the next month are locked in like a big brother house situation <laughs> yeah and then you could make another tv then, show out of that <laughs> and then it, and then you record all that and then release that alongside <laughs> doctor who as doctor who in the house or something yeah and the thing is you <laughs> wouldn't need a very you wouldn't need a very big house either you could just have like a little shed because it would just be bigger on the inside yeah <laughs> uh that would be a gimmick it would be a whole doctor who fiend big brother house <laughs> you could, i mean you get you'd get people watching that come on yeah yeah do you remember um it, it would have, oh, it'd have to be on channel 555 yeah. please do not whatever it was yeah 444000 4, i think it was or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you remember um back in the 2005 days oh, on the doctor who website that. there was like a some kids watching Doctor Who with their parents and offering their views on it. I guess it was like original reactions. <laughs> oh, I Do you remember don't that? remember that. Yeah. No. I think it, I didn't think it was videos though. I think it was text based, but just to see what oh. they, the kids had thought of the episode. Okay, wife could, in space style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would kind of be like that, wouldn't it? So it, it there'd be a, like an extra for each episode of like, uh, Dear 52, the housemates have watched episode three of the series. <laughs> Only on day 52, Christ. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. They're now biding their time by going back through the past thirteen series, <laughs> like, or however many like, it is. Danny and Steve are having a fight in the garden about Chris Chibnall. <laughs> <laughs> See, it would be good TV. <laughs> it would be good TV. Oh, for Whovians, anyway. Yeah. But still. Oh, where did I get to? Uh, Yaz just happened to take the past companions home off screen whilst the Doctor was KO. Yeah, no, it was no like the this, Despite the fact that a big part of the episode was the in, the fact that the Doctor doesn't keep in contact with these people. So yeah. they chose to let the companion take them home and not say goodbye or wait for the Doctor to wake up. Or it. <sighs> yeah. Maybe it's their revenge or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you left us for 40 odd years. Fuck you, bitch. This is me yeah. getting out, as Martha might say. I've got a note on Martha for later, but we'll get yeah. to that. Um, I'm glad that, like, you mentioned you liked the Yaz and Doctor scene at the end. What I'm glad of with that scene is that they didn't... Uh, the, 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 that. Yeah. <laughs> that they, they didn't focus on the shipping of them. They kind of just left it in the air ultimately, and yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of up for the fans to decide was there really something there or not, or which I'm just glad of. <laughs> we didn't have yeah. any kind of Yasmin focus. It does make the fact that they added it in the past two episodes feel like what was the point? But yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> whatever. Chibnall. Um, I'd, I will say an upside to Chibnall's era as a whole was that they utilised time travel a lot more. Some yeah. episodes, we'd literally just pop all over the place. Whereas I'm hoping with Russell, he doesn't return to the one episode, one time, one place type stories again. Yeah, I want to see... Have a little bit of timey-wimey variety, yeah. I want to see complex stories, definitely. Yeah. Because that's that was one thing I think, looking back, was quite refreshing of the Chibnall era, is that you'd get episodes where they'd be in this time zone, but then they'd have to quickly go to this time zone to fix something. And that's like, yeah. it's something we've always thought of in the past. It's sort of like, well, why don't you just get in the TARDIS, go yeah. here and do this? Is it because it's like, it's yeah. a time travel show, God damn it. Yeah. yeah. That's why, like, you know, a, a tree has to fall on the TARDIS at the start of the episode or something, yeah. or it has to be yeah. buried in lava or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> A bridge has to fall on it. That's the one. It was a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it in the Susan Romans? Oh, that's it. It fell off a cliff. Whole... It fell off it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Susan just pulled a whole fucking bridge on it. <laughs> These time time time... straight. Yeah. <laughs> God, I feel sorry or jealous of her new husband. I can't decide Ooh. which. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're not. To... I don't. I don't know if they're still together now. Obviously, she'd outlive him. So it's like death by snoo snoo. <laughs> 
Oh, I haven't heard that in a long time, and that was a nice, funny rea- uh, return nostalgic hit. Yeah. Uh, but we're on to my next section of the scroll. We're off the plot now. I've kind of got, as you know, I've gone through the episode like ah, yes. point by point. <clears throat> now we're into the past, Rem- remembering of the past. Asha, Hashtag who the respect. fuck was he again? What was his point? He was he was a s- Cyberman. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, didn't he? Didn't he? Why was he any different to any other Cyberman? Didn't what he, was he join the Cybermen voluntarily to be rid of the weakness of the flesh or something like that? Was that it? Yes, but I did um, catch afterwards that the Master did kill Ashad, but then cloned him to make a happened. new Ashad. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, my, yeah. that's my next point. The Master just happened to clone him, luckily, off screen. Yeah. Cool. Second Ashad, same as the first. I thought of a better plotline backstory for Ashad that would have worked better. It should have mm-hmm. been some kind of rogue Cyberman that had tried to regain its humanity but failed, and that failure caused it to go even more crazy. Oh. So it's sort of like the the responsibility of your actions. You tried to do something for your benefit, or and it was a good it was a good idea at the time, but the failure fucked you up even more, sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, the obvious question good. is <laughs> the obvious obvious question follows like after we were talking about that Dalek was is, why would the Cyberman do that? <laughs> um but I guess you yeah. could say it had just had like a failure with the inhibitor chip or That's, whatever it is. Like, we we've had we have had in the past occasional moments of Cybermen regaining humanity because of Oh yeah, uh, Tracy Ann Oberman. What was Tracy Ann Oberman. Um Yvonne. Yvonne. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Danny Pink. That's right, yeah. Uh, and in the extended universe, the Eighth Doctor actually had a Cyberman as a companion. I think it was oh. like Croton or Cry. It's not Crichton. Cry- Crichton, yeah. Crichton, Croton, something along those lines. I've okay. got the comic somewhere here. Well, I've, I want to somehow one day do like a play, like a, just a, an ad libbed play if we can get like multiples of us together get a camera on a comic book mm. of the do- of, like, doctor who all do uh, us do a couple of voices each and we just go through it but react to it at the same time do you get what i mean yeah yeah like a weird ad-libbed audio <laughs> comic drama thing so yes. one day i've got that if we want to look into that okay speaking of cybermans reminded me Cy- i discovered the other day you might already know this but you know handles off of time of the doctor yeah, yeah. Do you know who t- Handles was voiced by? No. K. Van Novak, a.k.a. Phonejacker. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, I just assumed it was Nick Briggs. Yeah. <laughs> you just do, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick Briggs. <sighs> go-to, yeah. go-to guy for the sibes. <laughs> anyway, we'll move, we'll move off of them, and we'll move on to the Flux. That just got better then, didn't it? <laughs> it's all right, the Flux got better. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty certain that it did destroy the entire universe except the solar system as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Wonder if the Davis or I'm I'm hanging on to the the multiverse theory, even if it never yes. comes back again and is never confirmed. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Davis honestly just ignores a lot of the stuff that was set up in, in Chip yeah. and Zero. But in my mind, they crossed universes I... several times without realizing. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like I'd like that maybe the 60th deals with multiverse shit and then the reality the Doctor returns to isn't quite the same as it was when they left. Do you get what I mean? Like, do you think maybe the... It's like things in, the are, uh, in the other the universe, the 14th Doctor was David Dennant. <laughs> and that's why it's crossed over sort of thing. We've or got, so the, wrong, maybe, we've got maybe. the wrong Doctor. The, u- the universes are colliding in some fucked way or something yeah, yeah. Oh, well spoilers, we do by the way. <laughs> yeah well and more more spoilers obviously we do see in that mini trailer thing at the end oh what's it i can't i'm buttering it's, his name it's either chuti or shooty i've heard people say different Chuty, okay um but we do see him at the end going what the fuck so yeah yeah, yeah that's the one yeah it does you know, not, not in those Will words, someone tell but... me what the hell is going on here? <laughs> there we go. There we He's go. got an yeah. accent. So the, the fact that I saw him in that has eased up a lot of my worries about one of my last notes on this scroll. Uh. 
um, just uh, it has confirmed he is going to be the doctor in yeah. some way, and yeah, we're yeah. not going. To, it. I'll get to. We'll, we'll get to Tenon. We'll get to yeah. Tenon. We're still on You're the. You're all on ten t- tenanter hooks. Yeah, yeah. We're we're still on the past that has been forgotten. From the flux to it was good to see Joe Martin again, even though it technically wasn't her doctor. Yeah. But hey ho. However, she I guess the timeless so child good. stuff. Yeah. Sorry, God. Yeah. I think we we have just ditched the timeless child stuff though. So yeah. Is that a good thing? Possibly. I don't know. Give the woman a big finish. <laughs> Wrap up the loose ends. That's what I say. Um, yeah. Is Russia still Sontar? Hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it got better. <laughs> it got better. Cool. Um, we'll add a new one to that list. Are all the volcanoes on Earth metal now? Um, oh, yeah, I guess like an ant's nest that you pour molten aluminium. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. So that was kind of how they stopped them exploding, was just by me- See, meta- meta- metallicalizing. I can't, I can't remember any of that. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's how they stopped the volcano's plot erupting, was metallicalizing okay, the yeah. lava. <laughs> Obey your master. Yeah, well. Who is um? Hopefully who... that'll get better. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Earth's just going to be plugged up, and it'll just explode eventually. <laughs> how was um? How did yeah? What happened with some with Russia? <laughs> that's, that's, it's, it was it's so long ago. Sontar. I can't remember if it was sorted yeah. or not. It was part of the flux, so no. <laughs> hmm. I don't, yeah. That was Sontarans perverting the cause of history, though, wasn't it? So. Did they fix it in that I can't episode? Remember. And we, uh, somebody, if there's anyone out there who cares, probably pants, or if you can remember, mate, let us know. Um, if there's anyone watching this or listening. Anyway, <laughs> next, next point Doctors. Amazing idea to get them back. Loved it. Yeah. Only the big finish for plus Bradley, though. I yeah. guess Tom didn't do this one. <laughs> no, yeah, apparently they just couldn't couldn't get it to line up couldn't with him. him. And he's okay. like 88 or something, I think, so it's fair enough. Uh, it can't be long before, yeah. Before it regenerates. Mm. Uh, the scenes where the holograms reunite with Ace and Tegan <laughs> might be my favourite chicken scenes ever. Nice, yeah. Their, the, their scene, I like... This episode just might be my favourite Chibnall episode ever, but particularly those scenes in the episode. They're, they're, they're scenes that truly pulled at my heartstrings. <laughs> just like Seven being a misguided parent who's just proud of how Ace turned out yeah. despite that, and that's broke me multiple times watching the reactions. <laughs> that's, I am in work watching reactions on my phone and I'm having to just sort of like turn my head away so no one sees my eyes mm-hmm. getting all moist. Um, for anyone who's uh, new to the podcast, Ozzy is a 999 call handler. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm just... Uh, se- seven and Ace are my TV classics all the way. It's... It's I just great. loved the professor, student, yeah. father, daughter relationship. And I want another like parent kid relationship yeah. type thing with a doctor and a companion. If we have to have human companions, give me that relationship again. We yeah. kind of got it a bit yeah. with Capaldi and Bill, and I loved that. Yes. And it's ah, yes. oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel really, really um, an- annoyed by the people who gave up on uh, on Capaldi's run and never got to series ten because that was yeah. a hell of a series. That was really good. Just, oh, yeah. yeah, those two, great, and Nardole, of course. Oh yeah, well, yeah, just uh, don't don't get me started on Capaldi. I'm too Capaldi biased. <laughs> I've been off for um, too long. So, what was I going to say? Uh, Another thing, just to add on the you know the the uh, classic doctors. parent parent child thing with the uh, okay. with the seventh Doctor it's... and Ace, it's not really about that. It's just that doesn't Sylvester McCoy have an amazing voice? <laughs> oh, well, just that yeah. bit where he goes, "We're Ace." <laughs> it's, just, it's just so <laughs> deep and gravelly. <laughs> oh, he's like well, I, yeah, he's the I king. Know, he's think... the king of something sinister while saying something nice. <laughs> I think the lo- one of the lines that always gets me though is where he's like, um. All children grow up in the end, but the pleasure is to yeah. watch them fly or something yeah, like yeah. that. And it's just like, oh, oh, don't kill me. Just, all it all children fly. It is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame under the balloon yeah. that they fly in. Oh, no, I preferred this one to that one, I think. <laughs> but 
I would prefer McCoy to um, Hurt's doctor. No offense to John Hurt, and then rest in pieces, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked the Braveheart Tegan and the Adric callback. Yep. That didn't get me in the same way as the Seventh Doctor, but it still got me in a set in a different way. Yeah. Because I I I might be in, I think <laughs> I'm in the minority. From what I know, everybody hates Adric, but I never hated him. I always liked Adric, but I don't know if that's just because as a teenager who was a big Doctor Who fanboy, I kind of related to mm. the young student of the Doctor teenager kid being like a fanboy type do you get what i mean yeah yeah and i think if people were like what older watching doctor who and like the the pep the you know the the bright young spark kid the, comes along the, we the wesley crusher yeah, basically yeah. i think people yeah. are just gonna say oh he's an annoying one regardless yeah i can yeah i can see it why but for i i don't know i always liked adric and i is i wouldn't say his death made me sad but it it, <laughs> it was a nice moment to have a call back to it or it was just nah <laughs> i just um, i just think that should be a line in doctor who at some point <laughs> just like what? from about any character or whatever you could have the, the master or, or or even the doctor if they make the doctor a prick one day like paul mcgann's doctor was in the audio <laughs> we just go oh that was a shame i wouldn't say his death made me sad but you know it was a shame <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> yeah a very early Capaldi line. <laughs> yeah. I mean, speaking of McGann, if they had to get an old doctor back for the sick day, if why not McGann? Oh, the I one that we Paul haven't McGann. had enough and of I mean on in every TV. Sense of the word. Yeah, I know, it, but it's a... more of it on TV, why couldn't Jodie regenerate into him if we had to have an old doctor back? Because it wouldn't have been fan wankacious enough. It wouldn't have been David Tennant. Exactly. Yay, Tennant. It wouldn't have got people talking and all that. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> I will get to that as well. But um, on to companions. Yes. Uh, we missed Tegan's and Ace's <clears throat> names in the opening credits because I got distracted by something. I can't yeah. remember if I got distracted by a comment or I went to refuel the TARDIS before we started or something. I don't know. Either way, we missed it. Um, I've mentioned Dan suddenly scared of dying despite all the shit he's gone through, even though he was pretty laid back about the alien stuff up till now. He was happy to fight um, sea devils with a, yeah, a lightsaber cutlass, or whatever it was. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, Graham just so happened to be there. Um, not I think, complaining in a way, but... I think Yaz picked him up, didn't he? Didn't she? No. Well, she must have Yaz, been. Yaz dropped Ace off in the volcano. Ace turned a corner, was surprised by Graham, and they were like, holy shit. He tries to use the uh, psychic paper on her. And she says, uh, oh, you're Graham, you're a friend of the Doctor. That's why... He used to be a bus yeah. driver, blah, well, blah, 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 blah. I just assumed that he must have been dropped off there as well, but you're right, he did no. just show up, didn't he? <laughs> he did just show up. He's, he, he was just investigating it in his own terms. I was just, I was just on my but, way yeah. there to uh, uh, Buenos Aires, that's how we'd say yeah. it. And <laughs> I, I took a wrong turn and I was looking for my youth hostel. <laughs> Although, in that one scene of Ace and Graham... I ship them like fuck, and I want a yep. big finish spin-off with them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm wondering if Ace's bat was is still super powered. It did manage against the Daleks. It, yeah, well. yeah. But I can't remember if I swear. Like in that episode, didn't the Doctor use the bat to destroy the Daleks' transmat thing, and then the bat was broken by the end of it? Oh, I can't remember. So it would technically be a different is that bat. Remem but remembrance. I, remembrance. Is that, yeah. 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 I can't remember exactly. You can't remember and um, I can't remember uh, Kate had a cool line where the Cybermen go, the Doctor is not coming. She says, I choose to believe otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, it's a, you know me, I'm a sucker for the whole like loyalty of friendship and stuff. And that was yeah. a very... Certified no, anime I, moment. I, yeah. I, no. My, I know the Doctor... She's coming, sort of thing. I yeah. liked that. Also, Kate's first time on the TARDIS. Also, is she one of the rare companions to have survived three doctors in a row? Oh, <laughs> survived. You make him sound like abuse victims. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was she's been here with eleven, twelve, and thirteen yeah. now. Yeah, I guess in so. a row. But like, how... sometimes you get a companion go f between two doctors and then pop back years later. What about the how did the how how long was the brigadier around for? 
He he was with the second doctor, but not as a brigadier. Second doctor for he he was no he was a one off. Yeah, compar- he was a guest star. I'd say at that point he became yeah, yeah. a companion from the third Doctor's era in my in my eyes. Yeah, so he probably would have uh, only gone. Yeah, he wouldn't have. No, so he was three and four. Unless he was in the five then, Doctors, I can't remember. He's he yeah he would pop back for guest appearances with each Doctor. So he survived, but he t- wasn't like a. Because yeah. I mean, Kate wasn't a companion either, really, was she? But she did have multiple episodes with each oh, okay, Doctor. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I see what She's you mean. She's been in a couple of Whitakers. I think she at least two of Whitakers, because she was in Flux. Yeah. She was in a couple of Capaldi's, definitely, and a couple of Smith's. So, yeah. Mm. Anyway. Um, it was Ian. At the yeah. Doctor's Anonymous meeting. Also, Joe and Mel from the good old days. Yeah, <laughs> the good old days. The good yeah. old days. No modern ones, though. But I guess no. that's because Martha is the only one who's not dead, trapped in a different dimension, or banned by the BBC. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she couldn't bring her husband with her. That's why. Yeah. Because he's not allowed back in. <laughs> so it would have been a bit... Yeah. I guess they just couldn't get hold of Freema. I don't know what she's up to these days, actually. I've not seen yeah. her anything since Doctor Who. No, I and it's, I know she eventually went on to some kind of like Law and Order UK thing, but I don't oh, know okay. what she did after that. She was in New Amsterdam, whatever that is. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Medical thing, NBC. Oh, well. oh, there we are, fair play. Anyway, luckily Vinder happened to be looking for the living bomb planet at the exact same moment we were. Yeah. Was he a replacement for <laughs> Ditcherly Dan? Was John Bishop off doing some comedy somewhere, or was this for Kofi? Maybe. I don't know. Also, didn't Vinder have, like, a wife and a kid that he was trying to <laughs> find? God, that's my next note. No Carvinista <laughs> or Vinder's missus. They, they got better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they Carvinista got... got off with them at the end as well, oh, didn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah. So, oh, my God. Missed when, to have him back. Did, did, we see the, did we see the baby got give birth, or did it come out as a little dog? <laughs> Oh, <gasps> oh, that's a big finish spin-off we need. It'd be like a sitcom drama, dramedy type thing. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and on our final no show, no Ryan. Does he have other gigs nowadays? I couldn't be bothered he, to look. He up. was. I read this in a comment. He was filming something in America. Okay. Sorry, America. So that's what they. America. Uh, yeah. America. <clears throat> anyway. Onto the master. He's a seismologist. I think we missed that in the reaction. What's... Yeah, he was. So, What's that? Yeah. So, seismology, I think, is like seismic activity. Yeah. But he was a seismologist in the terms of he shrunk people's sizes. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. okay. I didn't get it at the time, but I did watching it back, and it was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't get it that was, that was like That was one of our jokes that we missed. Yeah. <laughs> that was such an us joke. Oh. But sexy school, school teacher master is a good look for Sasha the one. <laughs> Not the Rasputin look or the shaved head look when he was the doctor, but that sort of like... Fl- it's quite Matt Smith with glasses look he had when yeah. he was in the school. I quite liked it. And yeah, this episode was his best performance let- best performance yet. Yes. He really? felt less like a moody school school teenager master and more of just a maniac crazy yes. master for which me, is he was good just, just the right amount of mad without being over yeah. the top for me yes yeah yeah i didn't think but just looking back on the one's master he's just been a bit of a moody oh gallifrey's gone catch me if you can or if he's not if he's not doing that he's whooping and shrieking yeah which is most unseemly out of out of nowhere sort of yeah whereas this was just kind of completely manic the entire time. It's like, like when I preferred John Sims Master when he was a bit less over the top as well in the World Enough and Time yes. episodes. It's just, it, you've yeah. got to tone, I think it's got to be toned down a bit. You, st- you can be mad yeah. while still being yeah. suave. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, and if he was like that going forward, I wouldn't mind him sticking around a bit, but that is very doubtful. Yeah, I think it's it's like, a, like yeah. a soft reboot at the moment, it seems. Yeah. Though I can see fans out there making posters of his Rasputin graffiti. 
Yes. Um, I liked the line, you were a cat the last I saw you. Yeah. Man's allowed to experiment. <laughs> <laughs> that one for the furries. But it was still a fun line. It was still yeah. a fun line. Um, I mentioned earlier, the master stealing the regenerations is very classic master a la TV movie. Yeah. He even, <laughs> even mentions at one point that he likes to dress for the occasion. You go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, smaller uh, colour this time, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like. But he did have a tragic line just before he got turned back, and it was, don't let me go back to being me. Oh. And when That's, I heard, I, yeah. I missed that in the reaction, but when I heard it in a, someone else's reaction, I was quite, <clears throat> ooh. Because uh, I've, so I've always had a soft spot for the Master as a character, and that just makes you feel for him a bit. It's just like, oh, it's quite tragic. Yeah, it definitely. It's that kind of self-hate lashing out. If, always trying or, to get the doctor's attention sort of thing yeah 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 that his obsession with the doctor once being his friend is like well i don't want to be me i want to be you yeah i want to be the person i used to look up to once upon a time and i think that's probably why that that plot thread in the episode was one of the more interesting was ones the better one yeah <clears throat> and you i get have you heard the theory out there that's been since jody's era started that sasha's master came came before missy yeah. Because he hadn't had the change of heart that she did. Yeah. Well, maybe getting to be the doctor for a little bit is what inspired her to have this change of heart. Ah, perhaps. If Michelle Gomez comes back as Missy in the next lot, fingers crossed, probably fingers not. But cross everything. I can't see it, but I can see no. this being a cool, this era being a call back to Davis's era and not seeing much of Moffat or... Yeah, Chibnall yeah. Zero, which I'm hoping not. I'm hoping Russell takes bits from every era we've had to date, including Chibnall, Moffat, and the classics. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So maybe that's why if the one does... I keep flip-flopping. I don't know whether to call him Sasha. Sasha the one, or just the one. But yeah, if he <laughs> well, does you know, become... He is the one. If he does become Missy, maybe that's why she does go to have her change of heart. Yes. Nice little. And I think I mentioned to you just without that I'd like an unbound spin off where the master doesn't change back and goes around besmirching the doctor's name. Yes. That'd be pretty fun. That'd be a good one. Yeah. I just, I w wanted more of that. As a, my it's next almost... big plot area. Uh, not it's almost area, like the one where the Valyard wins. There's an unbound one, isn't there, where you see the kind of. I... The okay, kind of I trouble that some of yeah. us could uh, could cause. Yeah, I need to get on Unbound. I will say that. Yeah, they're very good. They, I, you have said many, many, many times. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my next, my next big notice area is as an anniversary. I think this one might be better at honor honoring the show's past and Day of the Doctor, which was more of like a new Who anniversary episode with a little bit of history chucked in now and then sort of day of the doctor yeah, I think... would have been better as a 10 year anniversary if they'd have held it off for a couple of years a 10 year anniversary of yeah. new who not as doctor who's 50th altogether this one kind of felt like it was trying to honor every part of doctor who's history in different I little like, ways i feel like this one did more to honor the doctors and the companions yeah, Whereas well, Day, of the, Day, of the, Day of the Doctor just kind of had references in it, didn't it? To old who, like the like the intro and the school I, and the dating the controversy. Big <laughs> of, I think like big plot of Day... Well, when, even then, well, the, the, the plot, plot was of Day of the Doctor was the Time War. The plot was 100% New Who, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the plot for this was a bit more lacklustre and questionable at times. And so Day of the Doctor was... Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, this one was a bit more lackluster and questionable at times, but better as like an anniversary of the whole show as a whole. Yeah. Whereas Day of the Doctor could be one kind of big Tennant Smith pissing contest at times, but the return of Gallifrey felt grand. The 50th was just a bigger event as a whole. Mm. It was just it was just a bigger thing, and it was so much more. Yeah. The 50th. Yeah. That's where the 50th was better than this do you get what i mean yeah yeah i see what you I mean. think they're both really good anniversary episodes in different ways 
but, but yeah, I so think the 50th should have been more of a 10th anniversary for New Who than a 50th the 50th anniversary. was a big story for a big anniversary event whereas power of the daleks was uh um, power of the doctor <laughs> no you heard what i said no. <laughs> was, a, the... was a big yeah was a big um okay. it was it was a better celebration of doctor Two. yeah i'm just agreeing basically yeah. okay yeah yeah <laughs> um it was uh, it was weird that it was not even for a doctor who anniversary no it was, it was yeah. for the, but if there's any show that you could sum up the bbc with other than EastEnders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the news. The, the new year. Or to us, at least, I guess. Yeah. Blue Peter, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, on to the regeneration. It would have been nice to have all the companions be there to see her off. Hmm. But I do like how subtle this regeneration was. There was yeah. like no long spe- long speeches to thin air or farewell tours. <laughs> you just kind yeah. of like, well, this is it, Yaz. Sorry, bye. It was fun. Yeah. Tag, you're it, Doctor. Next one. Boom. It was just yeah. kind of, yeah. Just sort of like a bit. It was like she had a bit more hope in her voice for the future rather than, shit, I'm about to die. It's going to be go. sad. I'm going to yeah. miss it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go so much. I'll be back a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great last line, by the way. Tag, you're it. Love that. I wasn't a fan. <laughs> no? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. No. We can agree to disagree. We don't have to be complete anyway. It was the first mo- regeneration in Modern Who to be outside of the TARDIS. Oh, yeah. Painters and decorators, rather than... Uh, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know whether... Yeah, I don't know whether they are happy because their work doesn't get destroyed in the TARDIS or their unhappy because they don't get paid to repair the TARDIS because that's how the doctor mm. repairs it. He or she pays a load of painters and decorators to come and fix well, it. Well, I was going to say, does this mean we'll, the Crystal TARDIS is going to stick around till next time and will we well, see it change in the next one? They might be jumping ahead a little bit to whether Tennant is the actual next doctor if, if or if something's gone wrong. Okay. I'm wondering if he's going to turn around and go into the TARDIS and it'll be different. Like it's there's all been a some dream. kind of crossover. <laughs> yeah. like, and, and his husband to be in the shower, like in Dallas. The re- <laughs> yeah, the, the regeneration like knocked Jody out. This is all one big tenant fan wank dream. So the TARDIS looks like it did back in the tenant days. <laughs> I and do... then when she wakes up, she's Jody again and then regenerates into Nakuti. <laughs> or Chuti. I and do she, think she, the she, fact she, that the, oh, the fact geez. that the clothes change, I'm ha- I'm hanging on to the fact that something's gone wrong in the regeneration here, maybe because of what the Master did. Yeah, I mean, I will say I I know one spoiler about something that's coming up. Okay, I don't really, and so I'm that's... Uh... Okay, okay. In Yeah, in terms of, like, something. So, it <laughs> that I will say that that spoiler something could also be a reason for weird fuckery going on. Okay, but um, say, but yeah, the, the, the thought that any... thank you. The thought did occur to me that it might just be because the um, someone either David Tennant himself or someone in the production didn't want to have the shot of Tennant wearing women's clothes that were too small for him. I don't really know now, if that might have been it. I've got but... that note here, but I didn't know whether to say it or not because we'd just be assuming that Tennant is a bit more against wearing women's clothes than Sasha the One, who was in Jodie's outfit for a bit. Mm. That's true. I, <clears throat> but I, yeah, it could, I didn't it, want to put or, bad or, ideas on what Tennant might be thinking about wearing women's clothes or something. Or it might just yeah. be that they wanted it to be like, look, it's David Tennant, rather than look, it's David Tennant in the previous Doctor's Club. You know, like they wanted a fresh yeah. new thing, perhaps. But yeah, I, I still, I, well, I'll say this actually, most of the reactions I've watched, they've all been absolutely 100% excited and happy to see Tennant. Um, except, um, do you know Seventh Hour Films? Uh, he normally does yeah. like classic reactions with his dad. Uh, I would, I, 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 I a, lot, st- a lot of his notes has given me notes as well, I will uh, say about I just, I just saw his earlier today and, and he was... I saw his today but last yesterday <laughs> he was kind of like in the same boat like i don't really see how we f- yeah. and that he, he was kind of saying the same thing that i was well, hoping which was that the fact that the clothes changed indicates something's gone wrong you know yeah 
some of the notes that I've got coming up will hearken to some of his notes because he made me think, yeah, actually, that's a good point. So we will get to them. Okay. Um, either way, somehow Tenant returned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As, I, as we said, getting into it, we seem to be in the minority on the Tenant return. I, Every other reactor loves it. Can I or just... Are um... they... Can I are just they just put are some reactors putting on a show? I'm wondering because just, they're doing a reaction. And it's like, oh well, I've got to look excited because Tenant's back. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. But can I just um take a moment to congratulate you who are not a huge Star Wars fan and haven't seen Episode Nine <laughs> on that on that <laughs> Star Wars piss take reference? Thank you. <laughs> no, I I've had enough residual <laughs> secondhand Star Wars to get that one now. Oh, yes. I've I've watched the two leading up to it, and I've heard enough between you, Riley, and Alex to get that joke at least. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, um... yeah. We seem to be in the minority, unless other reactors are just putting on a show for the views. Uh, they all do that, don't, don't they? They don't, they don't want backlash in the comments, which I did get a little bit of. But yeah. I'll, I might do that in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um... um uh, but, but, we, um, I'm in and I will say that we have spent the past year slagging off the return of tenants. So I'm not going to just suddenly change my mind because yeah, it comes yeah. a, becomes a fact. Yeah, I was never happy about the fact that David Tennant seems to be everyone's fan wank doctor. It's uh, I, I love Tennant. Um, He's nostalgic, but I only love him as nostalgia. Yeah, because I think some people have said like, why why don't why don't you want to see Tennant? Again, and like uh, I think it might have been at the, the uh, uh, Tilly's bash, and uh, sounds uh, and and, and I, I was I was saying like it's not that you know I'd love to see Tennant back for the sixtieth as the tenth Doctor <laughs> like he yes. was in the fiftieth. I think it doesn't make sense for him to be the Doctor again. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll um, but a good way to think about it, I, I read this uh, earlier, is that it's like. If you're not 100 percent comfortable with it, just think it's it's all about building up the hype, getting people watching Doctor Who that maybe haven't watched it for years, and then you can just step back again and we can see the real the real next yeah. Doctor come along. So it is yeah. like we kind of have to but suffer it just to make people I watch have it again. A few notes for that in a minute. But speaking of will, what Tardis just Sonic will tend just to have before just before you move on, I will okay. say for all this that I don't, I'm not a huge. I've kind of turned around. I was. I didn't care that much until it happened, and now I feel like now that it has I'm happened, intrigued. I'm like I'm interested. I want uh, to kind of see what happens. I'm not sure, but I want um, to see what they're gonna do. I'm. They've yeah. They've just interested me. It's kind of like oh, I'm not happy with the way they're doing it at the moment. But with all that being said, it could though, be done well, and if it's done well, I'll enjoy it. With all and that I'll being said, I do really respect. like David Tennant as an actor, and I think he's he'll yeah. be very good. And I'm look, I am despite despite being on the fence about whether it was a good idea to bring him back or not, I am I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So it's oh, having yeah. the desired and effect. I think, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah, I didn't say that's it's it is just more getting you hooked, but that's kind of all it is. Yeah, to me, it's like yeah. Anyway, um. As I mentioned, it should have been McGann instead. Or, <laughs> more logically, Capaldi, because he was technically the one before. If yeah, they're doing, like, like, a regeneration thing, why not go back through them all or something? Because that, or... that, would, that would make a lot of sense if it was because they had to oh. go backwards in that machine. Yeah. Oh, shit, maybe just, we're going backwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, no. Yay, Tenant. Yay. I, yeah, I love Tennant as well, and he was my favourite Doctor up until Capaldi. Um, yeah. But then by the time, like, I've kind of grown with the show as the show has as well, so I kind of grew out of Tennant in a way without mm. sounding bad. Well, when Tennant... Doc looking back, his Doctor can be annoying at times. Not when all ten... the time. When, he's when got ten... now. When Tennant. When Tennant left, sorry, because there's a delay, I keep on like... It's like, I think you finished, and then you haven't. <laughs> um, um, when Tennant left, I did agree. Like, he, I, loved, I loved him as the Doctor, but he got annoying by the end. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was, and I was looking was forward to seeing someone else in the role by that point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But if it is a side effect, will we see any more of the past bodies before 
when it we've got three specials next next november imagine That's if we had a special for tenant a special for smith and a special for capaldi capaldi sorry oh i mean <laughs> you'd probably if if that um, happened maybe, maybe ghost bill can show up with a girlfriend <laughs> you'd, you'd probably turn me around on this entire tenant coming back thing because it wouldn't just be a tenant fan wank yeah i it think it is just gonna be that though, a yeah. new who fan wank <laughs> and I will take, I think that's what I've realised is I don't like fan wanks to just one particular moment in Doctor Who. But if you give me fan wanks to kind of like the history of the show and stuff, I quite like it. Yes. It's, yeah. So like this whole, yeah, I'll get, i got more bits on things like that. But the clo- as we've mentioned, the clothings did change. And everyone's going, ah, oh, Tenant's the 14th Doctor. No. Hmm. The Master was the 14th Doctor. Jody was the 15th Doctor again. That makes Tennant the 16th Doctor. Get your facts yes. and numbers right, people. Count it up. <laughs> um, no, I guess because it was a de-regeneration, it technically reversed the numbering, maybe. I'd assume so, yeah. Yeah, but I like to think that Tennant's 16. <laughs> um, everyone, um, ev- throughout Jody's entire run, they were complaining how she was too much like the 10th Doctor, weren't they? <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe it was Tennant's ego and it's been trying to burst out of her this entire time. <laughs> yeah. It's been left in there since the meta crisis. Oh, yeah. Or it's just always been there and on the death mountain with the other past Doctor spirits, <laughs> it saw its opportunity to finally escape and get the body again. And death now mountain. we're going to get like an evil Time Lord victorious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. With a After 10,000 years, I am free. That's... <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed about he's a little bit too egotistical as the tenth doctor, a little bit too cocky cocky, hey hey girls, come with me. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the name I'm of that watching... channel? Y O Y Fi. What Fi or is it Phil? Y O Y Phil. It's Fi, isn't it? Fi? Like a Greek letter. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't I don't read stuff to the <laughs> point that I pay that I'm A dyslexic and B yeah, it is fine. Okay, no. But they, but they are. My brain automatically corrects it as you know. <laughs> but they They're are amazing. great. Yeah. yeah, and and they they have I've... they have a lot of they <laughs> they're mean... very opinionated about Rose and about the way Tennant behaves and you know like. Watching very it good now points, as, yeah, watching it as an adult, I'm like, oh god, yeah, they're completely right about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will say that Tennant coming back will at least. Make me look forward to their reaction of oh, this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, They're one of the few reaction channels that, um, when they've got like a really long discussion on the end, I tend to actually to stay around and yeah. watch all of it because they've always, always yeah. got good stuff to say. Yeah. No, I agree. Or even what I do sometimes, if I don't finish watching it at home, I will download the video and then continue listening to their discussion at the end as I'm walking wherever I'm mm. going. That's like a podcast. Just to finish that. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you don't, once the reaction itself's finished, you don't really need to see. You just need to listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Anyway. So there, there we go. Two more reaction channels that we definitely recommend. Seven yes. hour, seventh Hour Films and YO Wi-Fi. Why Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? Oh, I get it now. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. No, I, I just got it as well when you said that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I just I'm thought it was because it rhymed. Wasn't it? <laughs> it's nice but yeah. Um, oh, do you want to so, hear? Uh, do you want to hear my 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 little other tidbit that I had? Okay, okay. Which is relevant now. Um, David Tennant playing this Doctor is a year older than John Pertwee was when he started playing the Third Doctor. Oh, okay. Which you'd never Fun guess, fact. would you? To be honest, no. Ted Tennant's doing good. He's doing good for his age. It's definitely. like when it's like when Capaldi was a year, or well, he was younger at least than um, uh, William no, Hartnell was. Wasn't when he, he a year older? I can't remember. No, I think he was younger because I'm sure. He, either way, either way, he was a year off of William Hartnell, and because, he looked twenty years younger. <laughs> <laughs> because um, what's his face? Argus Filch, when he was playing the first, the first Doctor, David Bradley, <clears throat> he it. he says to Capaldi's Doctor. I thought I would get younger, and Capaldi goes, "I am younger." Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, was that a little, a little fun nod at that? Was it? I didn't catch that at the time. Uh, no, no, fair. Um, where did I? Where did I? Okay, Hang on. so I think, no, I think you're right. Was... He was older. I've confused myself. Forget I said anything. 
you are forgotten easily. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think Seventh Hour Films also mentioned this, but I get that Tenant's Return is like to get all the old fans back and stuff, but is that going to be fair on Tutti when he does finally come in wow. and have to deal with all the same crap that Matt Smith had to deal with when Tenant left the first time? That's a very good point, yeah. I hope all that they... Oh, but he's not David Tennant. We should just keep David Tennant. Why get this guy in? It's like... I hope that they... Oh, it's Shooty, by the way. Like, it's an SH. Shoot, I just shoot, looked it up. Shoot, shoot, Shooty. Shoot. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that shoot they tree. introduce him throughout the three specials. Yeah. So we get to it's see him kind of, kind of you know, he's, with... He's coming together sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, there are a lot of fans out there who would just want Tennant to be the Doctor till the day he dies. He's the same age as us. Shooty unfortunately... Oh! Good man. That just makes me feel yeah, feel very underachieved in my life. But um, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the way Doctor Who works is not by keeping the same actor for twenty years. So no, no. yeah, we can only, we can only see where it goes. It has really got my taste buds tickling. I really want to see. It. I'm really excited for it. I'm just disappointed that I it. I'm still debating whether they've jumped the shark. <laughs> yeah. They got to the point where they're so desperate they're having to do this. I was listening to some... I think it might have been yeah. uh, No Such Thing as a Fish. I think so. I can't remember what um, now. But um, they were they were talking about the phrase jumping the shark. And they were okay. saying like, but actually, that sounds really awesome. <laughs> Why is that a bad yeah. thing? <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but just we'll just have to see. Every plotline continues, so we'll have to see. Yeah, just see what happens. That's all I can really yeah. end it with. I trust Davis. Oh, I no, do I think trust was, him as an actor. I think it was Plumbing the Death Star I was listening to. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go, go, go. Yes, go. But yeah, yeah, I trust everyone involved. I just didn't want it to get to this point. And I'm a little bit as is this the beginning of the end? Have we reached yeah. the point where they've run out of shit? Yeah, yeah. It it makes me worried a little bit. It does. As excited as I am, I have got that voice in the back of my head saying, "It's all gonna fuck up when Tenant's gone again." Mm. It's all gonna yeah. Well, they got Disney money behind it now, haven't they? Fingers crossed. Fingers so crossed. hopefully they Never they do know. well with it. I did think as well though a good idea is rather than having a series with the odd random dotted callback to like past episodes or past eras why not just have a whole series of sequel where every episode continues a plotline from a past doctor oh yeah the unresolved arcs <laughs> yeah yeah so as it like as an anniversary series or something for whatever reason yeah. They could add, like, if they had 13 episodes, 13 Doctors. <laughs> Maybe. Each episode, you go back and you deal with a plot line that a past Doctor has had to deal with. Maybe we'd finally find out what happens to the Flux. The Flux? Ah. <laughs> or uh, the, the Valleyard? Yeah. <laughs> um, the... How Ace actually left in the TV series? Yep. <laughs> Lung Lungbarrow. She became a Time and, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I will, as much as this has happened, my head cannon for Ace and the Doctor is still big finish. I yeah. can't help it. That's yeah, going to be. <laughs> and the final, final, final <laughs> note I have is on the new logo. Ah, yes. And I do really like it, but I do hope it's just for the anniversary and Shooty gets his own personal one. Otherwise, again, poor guy, it just kind of feels like you're getting the leftovers. If, if they want to be really nostalgic, why not just use the 63 logo? I get what they're doing with it. They're try they're going for nostalgia, but you didn't need nostalgia for Tennant and Eccleston's logo. You didn't need nostalgia for Matt Smith's logo. Yeah. I don't... I, I don't really... I think it's just a... It's just I know, a, I know. Yeah, That's it's, my it's, it's cool back, That's isn't it? I don't really... I yeah, my I just think he should get his own. Every I other think, doctor's kind of had their own logos. I think it would be. I think I'd feel bad about it if they gave him, for example, 
you know, the logo from 2006 or eight rather, or, or the logo from, yeah, uh, well, yeah, you I'd know, Matt Smith's logo or more, something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I feel yeah, like this is just feel a lot worse about it. I, I like, that. I like this. I think it's good that they've used a, a logo from the classic show to tie it back in. It's my second favorite Doctor Fair Who enough. logo. That is fair enough. No, I, I mean, I accept. I, I like it for an anniversary because it's the 60th anniversary. I think. Oh, okay, great. We got this. But then, like after, I would like something new. Do you get what I mean? Oh, I tell you what will make me like personal things. <laughs> How would you feel if the new intro? is an HD CGI remake of the Tom Baker intro with, like, the two bits coming out the side. Like, going out of Tilly's base on the Minecraft server. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't mind elements of that being in it, but not it being a full remake, yeah. no? Yeah, because I, I wonder, because that's kind of I don't of the... mind, like, the face element has been a reoccurring thing. I don't mind that be it coming back and being a thing in it. Maybe Shooty comes in, gives us a wink, and then the face flies off. Because be before Whatever. before New Who, the face flies off, revealing the flesh underneath. He screams yeah. in terror. <laughs> before um, New Who was a thing, the, the main era of Doctor Who that they knew about in America was the kind of the tom baker era so i wonder that's yeah. why i said that about the intro like i wonder if they're trying to like bring Maybe bring that sort of element in yeah yeah if shooty shows up with a massive scarf we know what's happening <laughs> and a hat yeah right oh, there we are well, well. <laughs> all in all though best chibno era episode it's certainly Absolutely the one it. I remember I best. It. I loved it. It was. I, could that be just because it's the one we've just watched? That is yeah, exactly but, why. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they're just thinking back. I'd say maybe my second favourite might be the uh, Prisoner Jadoon thing, which gave us Joe Martin's yeah. Doctor in the first place. I mean, that was just a really fun, fun and good episode. Oh, was that... Thing. Was that... Where good she was because of the last, because of the last ten fifteen minutes, or was it good all the way through? I think that's the. I enjoyed it all the way through. To be fair, because you had your little cameo from, uh, John Barrowman. That was tacked on, but it was fun to see. Oh again. God, I'd for- I'd actually forgotten about that. Hundred <laughs> percent forgotten. No, oh. I quite. I just quite enjoyed the whole plot of like. The mystery behind who the Jadun are chasing then it turns out it wasn't actually this guy it was Joe Martin the whole time and then she turns yeah. out to be some kind of Jadun killer and then that be, that turns out to be because she is the doctor yeah no I say I enjoyed that one okay personally looking back <laughs> I was just playing devil's this, advocate there really I was I don't this, disagree this with one's you. <laughs> my favorite this one's my favorite it's a good like eight or nine out of ten definitely nice Compared to what we've had over the past couple of years, it's the best we've had. <laughs> what did I, what did I get, seven, seven and a half? We did write it on the day, yeah. didn't we? I, can't I know, remember. I can't remember. Yeah. I think seven and a half is fair. I yeah. overrated the first <laughs> the first series, so I'm, I'm being harsher now. Yeah, oh, and I will just say that I had a comment on the live reaction from someone who obviously either didn't watch the video or didn't read the other comments to start because they went into a tangent about how we're not trusting like Davis to evolve as a writer, and that's kind of been our stick about Davis returning for like the past year or two. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we've never had anything bad to say about Davis returning. No. It was literally just Tennant at the end. So re- <laughs> it's a sin to think to... that we've been saying it it's... for years and years. Those are all series by Russell T. Davis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and Pantstool did leave a pretty hefty comment. That I'll apologise for not replying to, but that was mainly because 90% of it, I think I just agreed with. I was just reading through his comment and it was like, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, just Im- that yeah. seems right. Ima- imagine Ozzy nodding yeah. in response. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. And I figured we'd eventually get to this and there's a 90% chance you might be listening to this pants. So here's my reply. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, nod, <laughs> nod, nod. Yeah, yeah, nod. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice to know there are some people out there with a similar sort of mindset to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did think of a nice, like, twisty, wisty, um, 
idea Stick for like a future. Oh yeah. For like a future companion or something though. Yes. Yes. Copyright TS reactions, courtesy of the Invisible Tower, etc., etc., etc. But the Doctor gets a new companion who's like a mischievous character, but loyal the whole way through. Um, somewhat weird about them. Throughout the series, you get the normal. There's more than meets the eye type hints until the series final, where the companion saves the day by causing the master who they are fighting to regenerate into the companion. Ah. And it turns out that the companion throughout the whole past series or two was a good version of the good master, master the whole yeah. time, trying to get themselves to the point that they could cause something to happen. Say maybe they manipulate the plot so that the bad master dies by saving the doctor and that influences the next regeneration to be good. And then that regeneration goes to become a companion but has to hide the fact that they're the master throughout the whole... Do you get what I mean? Yeah. One of those weird, like, timey-wimey companions. But it turns out it was the master all along. I'd quite like that. That'd be fun. It'd be a nice twist. If we're going for, like, a master that comes after Missy and was good, something maybe along those lines. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's because I think, don't they have, like, a semi-good version? I haven't watched it, but I know details of it where the master's, like, the companion for Scream of Schalke. Oh, I can't remember Scream of Shark. I think he is. Yeah. I watched it when it was first out in like yeah, 2003 same. or whatever, but I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> Featuring the ninth Doctor, of course. <laughs> yeah. ri- ri- the, um, a, a man whose surname is Grant and who is, possesses the qualities of a Richard, so he's a Richardy Grant. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we are. I brought an end to that conversation. <laughs> I don't know if I've got anything else on Doctor Who, really. No, I had Ooh. nothing else either. Oh, my Doctor. Um, yeah. All in all, would recommend. Just don't drop out after 10 leaves again. Yeah. We won't, really. It's, that's, the, that's kind of my main worry now, Pennant, is that all these people who's going to come back for the 60th specials, will they stick around for Shooty's well, whole yeah. series? If or... the 60th is good enough, then hopefully, but you never know. <laughs> I, got... think, I think if the next Doctor was um, an older man, possibly they wouldn't, because that's what happened when Capaldi took okay. over. But um... then it was Smith that took over from Tennant, and you have got your... Smith fanboys, but then you've got fanboys for every Doctor, including true, Jodie. True. I'd say that Doctor Who definitely sort of declined a little bit when Smith first came back, and then... I did, did it? Sort of, I thought it was... Not, people not were surprised, really excited people... because it was Moffat and it was this really? fresh new Doctor. Oh. That's how I remember Whatever reason, it. I remember, I remember people not liking Smith to begin with, but then by the time of the 50th, they did. I can't remember. Well, I, I, I or, thought yeah, those, I, uh, I thought Moffat's series got better with each series, definitely. I wasn't a yeah. huge fan of some of the episodes in Series 5. No, no, okay, okay. Um, I think the overall <laughs> feeling was, was high. Particularly what, sorry? Jibbles too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very <good> ones. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. Well... Time will tell. Can, yeah, time will tell. That can, literally, that is all we can do is wait to see what the hell happens now. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a good 13 months to wait for it. 13 About months? 30, oh, well, no, we're in November now, okay. Yeah. It was 13 months from the broadcast of that episode. Ah, uh, yeah, now it was it's a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's still 12. <laughs> wow, year to go. Year to go. But like like we said, if there's anything else, check out our reaction of it over on TS Reactions. Yeah, and you've got if you've got something to add, if you've got anything to say about the things that we've said on this podcast, I just stole that from another podcast, that line. Um, okay. You can leave a comment on the YouTube video, email e- contact at ah. invisibletower.net, tweet me at invisibletower, whatever you fancy, really. 
I'm I'm still on Twitter because I can't be bothered to learn a new site just because of dickheads taking over it. W12 6PA. Yeah, right in, right in. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. Are we we doing the wrap-ups, are we? It feels Um, feels like the shelling of each... Well, it just felt like you were starting to go into the check out our channels before we do the final... Well, that's well, that's that's it for Doctor Review, and yes, that will be that pretty much better. the whole podcast. But we've we've got time yeah. for just our channel roundup. I think if we want to talk about what's going on around the channels, where people can oh, find us. Oh, you, You've got to wait. You've got to wait for Doctor Who to come out in the next couple of days. About it. That's over we on TS. The, we had the Evil Dead. Yep, <laughs> on TS reactions. That is. I've just I was just looking. I've seen Evil Dead one and two are up. Our reactions I... to them. Aussie's seen them. I haven't. I knew. I edited them. We're joined by a special guest, the other one. The other one, yeah. I meant the films, not the videos. Although, yeah, although te- technically, are you the special guest for those videos? I suppose because I am, yeah. Alex and me normally do the movie. That's true. Featuring Ozzy and the other one, featuring special guest, me. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you had a load of Pokemon shit on your side, though. Yeah, on Christian 444, I've, Christian 444. I've got through all my, my Living Dex journey. There's still a couple more of them to edit. There's still... Uh, Have I you completed it's... that now? Or No, no, I've still got more to get. Oh. i still got about 15 or so left to get. A lot of them are just yeah. legendaries and stuff, though, and version exclusives, so it's good. it might kind of stop now. Um, And, of course, we've got Scarlet <laughs> and Pontius Pilot coming out next week, so... Coming out next week, yeah. yeah. So we'll have bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Um, fish to die. But yeah, there's still, I think we got one more Minecraft video coming up and okay. there's a few more Civ videos. To go. I'm two months behind again because I, I fell behind when my mum was back. And then when I was the only person at work as well, I didn't have time to edit during the day, which is how I normally do yeah. it. So I'm still two months behind. I should catch up with that in about a month. And then by that point, another month's worth will have come. So I'll catch up on that in half a month, by which point another yeah. half a month will have come in. So if you're familiar with Zeno's a paradox of the arrow that does mean i will never finish but no. um <laughs> we're we're good oh i did the but um thing i hate that anyway um that's all going on there i think there's one more magicka to go as well but that was the one where i crashed down and couldn't see anything so it's going to be a really quick video <laughs> Alan invisible but, tower yeah. of course i'm still playing eu4 it's going very well okay Thanks for you asking. still do you still go for that cool cool <laughs> I haven't given up yet. <laughs> no. I've still got every every patch that comes out, I end up with like a 10, 15 long list of countries I want to play next. <laughs> and it just never gets any shorter. It gets longer and longer and longer. One day Fair I will enough. have played every country and then Fair I'll never enough. stop. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, well, we've like we've said, we've got Pokemon coming out in a week. So possibly next podcast will be us discussing that. Yes. I don't know any I don't know anything about that than them to be fair fairs apart from like very minor little things that I might have seen like I know there's a bike. <laughs> yes, yes, and that's, that's a Pokemon. The only thing that's kind of <laughs> popping into my head at the time, yeah. And it it's Spanish. Right. So get your potatoes uh, yes. already. Yeah. I I'm I've made a point to try and avoid as much as I can. I think I have seen like images in thumbnails of like a new Pokemon, but my brain has been so detached from it that it hasn't remembered anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like the image did not stick in. I can't think of any. New... I can kind of think of the starters. There's a duck one, isn't there? Yes. That's kind of all I can think of. There's a cat, I think. A duck. Oh, it was a grass cat. Fun. I'm waiting to see the fully evolved ones because the starters look all right, but I mean the um, the Galar starters looked all right, and then they evolved into utter shit. <laughs> so... Yeah, but then I don't know if it'll just get to the like depending on if there's better Pokemon or just deposit yeah. the starter. Yeah, that's what I did in the. Uh, I did look one. up one thing, and that's whether I can get Mimikyu in the game. Oh yes. So I'll have to figure out either whether I can trade from like Sword and Shield in some way or use Pokemon Home in some way to either get a Mimikyu early game or hopefully Mimikyu will be oh, early um, enough in the game that I can Pokemon, make that my starter. Pokemon Home functionality isn't coming until next year. Ah. Uh, I know that much. I wonder if you'd be able to maybe trade or something, I don't know. 
Well, hopefully Mimic you will be early enough then. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, there's two things I want to look up before I start playing. Number one, version exclusives. Because if there's a load of good one in good ones in one version, that's the version I want to play in my main playthrough. And number two is how the hell does multiplayer work? That's, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to figure yeah. that out before, before we, we actually yeah. Just start. Yeah. Um. Well, I I think I had a quick flick through version exclusives once upon a time. This was like four or five months ago, and for whatever reason, I decided decided that I'm getting Violet. But are you getting both? So yes, it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> neat matters. <laughs> oh, here's some exclusives. Is there any? Does it say <sighs> anything about how multiplayer works yet? I've got a pick between Larvatar and Bagon. <laughs> I can't possibly oh, pick. Um, that can never give much care about either of them. To I don't. I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a look later on because that is it <laughs> from us for that is now. what he's right yeah yeah uh it's time from, to say, guess from us and the critters it's a oh. goodbye and then me, 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 me. there they are there's the critters <laughs> they live in my mouth that's why it sounded like it just came out of my mouth okay um you've got, you've got all sorts of voice effects you never use no i haven't I don't use that mixer anymore. Oh, okay. No, no. Um, sorry, I said no, I haven't. Like, it was really obvious. It wasn't obvious. It's not obvious at all, no. is it? Um, sorry about that. Mm. But yeah, no, I don't use that mixer anymore. I just use a little audio interface. I've thought about okay. getting an effects rack thing to put between it, but I thought there's no point overcomplicating things, is there? I have bought, actually, a, an Elgato stream deck. There was a good deal on. So I'll be able to, I Hopefully, I'll be able to do noises. <laughs> at some point see how it works but anyway god they'll be fight you you and riley will be fighting yeah back and forth <laughs> bloody sound effect. <laughs> i won't overuse them though i give you my word no thank you <laughs> i will say she does tend to quite yeah. a bit yeah <laughs> it gets annoying it does annoy me <laughs> yeah no no i i, I agree yeah but no, it's how i just tune out when she goes on like a five minute button pushing spree <laughs> You just won't hear from me for like, unless there's a particular one that references something I am into. <laughs> well, it keeps me off the streets, doesn't it? So thanks everyone for listening. We will speak to you probably next week. Keeps them off the streets and off the podcast. And been Wait. around here. For yeah. Yeah, 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 been banned, barred. Mm. Anyway, you <laughs> <laughs> we do that is like next time she shows up, we'll just make another channel and keep going into different channels. <laughs> Never in the actual I think pod. I think I can set if I could set different because we've all got different roles on this uh, oh, server. God. I could set permissions on the channel so that like only us two could join. <laughs> oh, that would be quite funny. <laughs> oh. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. <laughs> uh, and anyway. we'll see you next time. Ah, goodbye. Goodbye.